I've led the uh, Commission in getting ourselves ready for the transition to the new structures within WMO. Uh, we've done a lot of work making sure that all of the priorities that we've got, for example in areas of science coordination, services and the training of personnel, will translate seamlessly into the new structures. This consistent body reform is driven by the strategic goals of WMO. WMO will support members to support the disaster risk reduction to cope with climate risks like droughts. And this requires a seamless approach from minutes and decades for our services. For this we need the Earth System approach. This means to integrate weather, water, climate and environment. What we're doing through WIGOS is providing a framework to integrate observations from across the WMO community and our partners and make sure that the systems that we offer and that we provide and support our members uh, to share their observations meet the needs not only of our members at a national level but our global community as well. I think an enormous step forward in the restructure is the use of Earth Systems Modelling and the integration of this approach into the new commissions and this will have the huge advantage of, of allowing agriculture decision makers worldwide will have that capability of expanding their decision frameworks, of increasing their time horizons so they can make strategic decisions much better than they can do at the moment. So this has the capability of improving global food production and food security, so an enormous breakthrough. The real benefits for us as a Commission is the fact that the new structure will enable us to have far more flexibility of working with a wider group of stakeholders. Our main stakeholder is the International Civil Aviation Organisation and we're already exploring ways of working much more closely with them through this transitional period. Also within the WMO working more closely with our science colleagues and also other technical experts in other sort of programmes is a fantastic opportunity for us going forward. Early career scientists have a great role in bringing this integrative approach into the greater picture of hydrological sciences and practice. And I strongly believe that bringing balanced insights from a diverse range of disciplines is quite essential for making hydrology uh, successful because it's just this integrative thinking uh, for the minds and hearts that will pave the way for the future of hydrology. We must keep going in this direction and make the world better. With the diverse nature of the measurement program within WMO, it's necessary that each of the groups form standards and form the ability to communicate with one another. This reform process, which is integrating all the components of WMO into a more streamlined an effective process needs standards and CMO, as that commission, will be making sure our best efforts go towards to make the reform process excellent.